Greetings, folks. Diamond Woods 12 back in another video. Um, this video is going to be about. I know I said I was going to do a PR, a Power Ranger video, um, for you guys, but excuse me. Um, I actually have that video recorded, but this this actually this news actually just came out within the last couple of hours. Um, apparently with the news of Marvel is going to that Marvel is going to be doing the the Cap Three is going to be Captain America Three is going to be um it's going to feature um, Iron Man. We're gonna feature Tony Stark, and gonna be gonna jumpstart the Civil War storyline. And we all know that's gonna be a huge. That's gonna be that's a huge deal. And that's one like like I said in yesterday's video. Um, go check out that video I did yesterday about um about the Civil War, with Civil War. Um, that video is gonna be not that video. That movie is probably gonna be a, it's gonna be pretty pretty big. Like I said, it's one of the best to me and a lot of other comic fans. I know some people. Some people really didn't don't like the Civil War um, story. Didn't like the Civil War story arc, but I pretty much liked it. I, I thought it was a pretty well done story arc. Like I said, it's one of my favorite story arcs in um comic in, in comic history. And it also changed. It changed. If, if you look at things that changed the Marvel Cinematic, not the Cinematic Universe, it changed the Marvel Comics Universe. <clears throat> it had to be Civil War. But anyway, um, but yeah. So DC, um, DC slash Warner Brothers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Decided to um release their slate of movies, their full slate of movies. And they didn't just announce one movie; they announced like a a bunch of movies. So apparently, in 2016, after Batman vs Superman, we're going to be getting a Suicide Squad movie. And y'all know Suicide Squad. That's like hey, it has characters like Harley Quinn, Deathstroke, Deadshot. Well, more so, I don't, Deathstroke was a part of Suicide Squad at one point, I think. But it's characters like Hot Harley Quinn, um, and Deadshot, just to name a couple of just to name a couple of them. Um, although I heard Harley Quinn may not be in this in the movie, but it'd be sort of stupid not to put Harley Quinn in the movie. But I heard she may not be in the um Suicide Squad movie. But anyway, moving along from that, so we're gonna get a Suicide Squad movie in 2016 after Batman v Superman. Um, so and after that in 2017, what I what, according to the um article. I think that we're going to get a Justice League movie. We're also going to get a um um I, I can't really get these years in my head. Um, the years these movies are going to come out. So I'm just going to name the the movies, the movies we're going to be getting. We're going to get a Justice League movie. We're going to get a Flash movie. We're going to get a Wonder Woman movie. Finally, we're going to get a Wonder Woman movie. Um um leave me on a comment below if you guys are. I don't ha I don't have the article handy with me since I am recording this on my phone. I don't know. I'm not. I'm like nowhere near a computer. Um, but my computer is actually sort of, someone's actually in my room using my computer right now, so I'm not near a computer, so I don't have these dates that really these years down down pack. But um, we're gonna get a I said Flash, we're gonna get a Flash movie, which is sort of weird because they have the Flash TV show on CW, which is actually a pretty decent TV show. Um, if you guys haven't watched it, go check it out. I'm pretty sure the first the first couple of episodes are, um are on um the website, the CW website. But anyway, um, I digress. But yeah, it's a pretty decent show, so check that out. But I'm, I'm wondering, and they also, they also have the actor that's going to be playing the Flash, actor by the name of Ezra Miller, is going to be playing the Flash, and I'm interested in seeing what version of the Flash he's going to be playing. I mean, he's gonna, is he going to play the original Flash, which his name actually escapes me. I, I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think Barry Allen was the original. I think he's one of the more known Flash, one more known character, more known Flash. I think. Well, Wally West is sort of known too, but I'm also hearing they're going to be using him in the Flash TV show, so um, maybe we won't be getting neither one of those on the big screen. They, they, this is just rumors that Wally West is going to be in the TV show, but the Flash TV show. But anyway, um, maybe they maybe they'll go with the original Flash. I mean, because they but they have an actor by the name of Ezra Miller. Like I said, I do not know who he is. I really don't know who he is. I don't. I'm not really familiar with his work, but I'm sure he's a pretty good actor, true enough. But I I, I really don't know his work, but um. Anyway, and I'm all for them. Can I mean a lot of people seem to not really know who he is either. So, um, I know another guy that said he doesn't. He hadn't heard the guy before either. And I'm I'm all for them casting like little known, lesser known actors. I'm sure he's done some acting before, but I'm all for them showing lesser known, but casting that lesser known actors in these roles. Like, cause really, who knew who Henry Cavill was prior to him being cast as Superman in Man of Steel? And the same also can also be said for. I'm gonna say this: Chris Hemsworth, when he played Thor, not many people knew. When people knew Liam Hemsworth, his brother, because he was in some movie with Miley Cyrus, I think. A lot of people sort of knew him, but he he really didn't have that big of a presence in Hollywood like he does now. Now that he's playing Thor, 
and he's Thor. I mean, not, not many people knew him outside of him playing Thor. But anyway, um, but yeah, and he's sort of blown up. He's sort of a big name, sort of a top one of the top actors out there in Hollywood right now that I think I could think of. But not many people knew him until he was Thor. Like I said, same with Henry Cavill. Not many people knew Henry Cavill until he was cast as Superman. But anyway, um, we're also going to be getting a, um, like I said, we're going to be getting a Wonder Woman movie finally. And we're also going to be getting a Aquaman movie. I think that's going to be out in 2018. I, I, I think that, I know that for sure because a lot of people don't know this. I'm actually sort of a, I'm actually sort of a fan of Aquaman. I mean, if you actually, if you go read his current, his current comic, um, incarnation if you go read the current aquaman comics you got to see aquaman is a pretty decent character um and i've been reading some of the latest aquaman comics so and jason momoa I, I like his i like his work I mean, he's a pretty good actor um he's gonna he's gonna be starring in the aquaman movie and we're also gonna be getting a shazam movie which i think will be coming out in 2019 um which is sort of odd since they already they already announced that the rock is gonna be playing shazam with not shazam he's gonna be playing black adam which leads to me, it leads me to think he, The Rock's probably going to be in like Justice League or something like this. He's probably going to be playing, playing, um, him playing him in another one of the DC's movies, but another DC movie. But Shazam is slated to come out in 2019, and we're also going to be getting the Justice League two in 2019. I think 2017 is where we're going to get the first Justice League movie. We're going to get Justice League two, um, in 2019, and we're also going to get a. And I'm actually excited about this. A cyborg movie in 2020. We're going to get a cyborg movie. So they're going to give us a cyborg movie. Which makes me think, come on, come on, Marvel. Announce Black Panther or something like that. Because we actually, because Marvel is actually, not the Marvel. DC is to give one of their black super, African-American superheroes his own standalone movie. Come on, Marvel. We've been hearing Black Panther's been in development for a while now. So come on, Marvel. Give us Black Panther. But anyway, um. And I do feel eventually that character of Black Panther will show up in the MCU one day, but I'm hoping it's in its own standalone movie. But anyway, but yeah. And also, Marvel DC is doing their own female standalone movie, so you got I mean, put out Miss Marvel or Black Widow or something like that. Give one of those characters their own standalone movie. But anyway, um, we're also in 2020 going to get a Green Lantern reboot, um, which I saw that coming. We all saw that coming. That um Green Lantern will get will be getting rebooted. Um, I'm all for it. I mean, if it's I I, I would I would prefer it be John Stewart Green Lantern. I, I mean, I know Hal Jordan is like the most in comics one of the most famous Green Lanterns, but I think John Stewart has some pretty much fame in his own right because um uh, if you if you guys are fans of the Justice League TV show that came on like in the late nineties early two thousand like throughout the two thousands late nineties throughout the two thousands. Um, it's on the both shows on Netflix. Justice League and Justice League Unlimited are both on Netflix. If you guys don't know what I'm talking, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, which if you are fans of DC, you should um, go check those check those um, animated series out because John John Stewart is the Green Lantern in those in both of those series. And somebody actually asked me when that Green Lantern movie with Ryan, with Ryan Reynolds when it came out. Somebody asked me, "Isn't Green Lantern supposed to be black?" I'm like, "That that was just in the movie in the um, TV show." There's I think John Stewart was like the third third human to um have the, the second or the third human if I get my comic um knowledge right the second or the third human to possess a green green lantern power ring so um but yeah I'm like there's been white there's white green lanterns too so there's John Stewart not they're not John Stewart there's Hal Jordan and um who's who's more known who was in the Ryan Reynolds version who how Ryan Reynolds played and there's also um. Guy Gardner, which I'm, I'm, a, I'm a decent, I'm a fan of Guy Gardner. Guy, Guy Gardner is all right, but um, anyway, that's pretty much what I can think off the top of my head. Most of the movies DC of have announced. Um, if I'm leaving anything out, they're doing, a, they're also doing a Lego Batman, a full Lego Batman movie. And if you guys know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of those Lego Batman games. Um, I know it sounds like a little kid, but anyway, but, um, but hey, sue me. I, I like those. Those games are pretty fun. Well, pretty interesting to play. But anyway, um. But yeah, they're doing a Lego. They're also doing a Lego Batman game, a full, uh, um, like the like, like sort of like a Lego movie, which they're also doing a Lego movie too. And Warner Brothers also announced some more movies. I think they announced some uh, like a Harry a Harry Potter spinoff movie or something like that. I'm not really too familiar with that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the big. I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, honestly. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not, I've never been like a huge Harry Potter fan. I, I've only seen like one of the movies, and I think by many standards, people say it was like the one. I, the actually the movie I seen. 
is actually considered as one of the worst ones. But anyway, but anyway, um, that's really all I got for this video. Let me know how. Let me know how you guys feel about DC. Um, and these movies DC have announced has announced, and um, what do you guys think Marvel should do? I mean, do you guys think Marvel should actually? I'm, not, I'm actually hoping they do. Come on, Marvel, give us what you guys have a phase three. We know we're gonna get, we're gonna get Cap three, we're gonna get Guardians two, and we're gonna get Ant Man. Ant Man is gonna be what starts phase three. But anyway, um, I'm hoping they can give us what, what we're gonna, we also know we're gonna get Doctor Strange, and we're hearing that um. We're also hearing that Black Panther and Miss Marvel, and also I think Inhumans are also in the develop in development. But anyway, um, let me know how you guys feel about this new all those DC movies news. Which ones are you most looking forward forward to? Me personally, I'm looking forward to more so. I'm looking forward to Justice League. I am sort of looking forward to Batman v Superman. I'm looking forward to the Wonder the Wonder Woman movie, Aquaman and Cyborg. Those are the movies I'm really I'm really looking forward to. But anyway, um, what well, what DC move DC movies that you guys are you guys looking forward to? Leave me a comment below, and I try to get back to you guys. Like, subscribe, share, um, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Anyway, um, I'm not trying to stay in contact with you guys. This is Dominic Woods Twelve checking out. Peace, God bless, and I'm out.